what I, what I do is I build the NHS Choices uh, website. And um, over the years, it's been, it's been going for about nine years. Um, and over time, it's got bigger and bigger and bigger and more applications, more services added to it. And I then have to churn out this, this great big site. Um, and our challenge is really is, is how, to, how to get that to our, our uh, continuous delivery nirvana. We, we, we want to speed this up, get it into smaller chunks, and, and make it better. Um, so what we're going to look at tonight is how to actually get that, the uh, pipeline to build nirvana. And I'm going to need some help in doing that. Because like I say, our thing is, uh, is a monolith. And it's very big. And it looks a bit like this. <laughs> This is it's a bit knobbly, a bit awkward, and uh, quite difficult to manage. And uh, if you sit on it, you could fall off. Um, and then we've got, uh, so we need to build this. So if I could have some volunteers. Because what we'll need is a pipeline that, because um, the, the various stages that we, we work to, is uh, to integration, to staging, and eventually to production. So, uh, oh, well done, Kristen. You can be to integration if you just stand in the middle of that. Middle. Yeah, you can hold that. Um, and I'll need somebody to actually be the build manager and, uh, and get our uh, build moving along if somebody wants to. Brilliant. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so if you start at this end. Well, oh, I get to move around. Yeah, you get it. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. Okay, so I'm here. And you'll see how unwieldy this build is. Once it's this big, there's so many applications and services in it, and you've got to actually get it down the pipe. Okay. So if you can just let that so roll right, freely yeah. Yeah. and see what happens, whether it stays on or... Uh... Oh, pretty good. Uh, almost First got attempt. End. If you do it <laughs> once more, if it, see, see, if it, see if we can get a consistent build. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't want to uh, mess it up now. This, this point. Oh, yeah, okay. it's falling over. <laughs> this, is, this is trouble with uh, things when they get so big that uh, they get unwieldy, you're, you're having to look after it. So the only way you're going to get that down the pipeline really is, is really to, to coax it down there. Um, so what we're, what we're looking at is how to make that better. But if, what we've done in our system, though, is we have actually done the whole pipeline with this thing. So it does, it does actually work. So I'll need somebody else to, to hold a bit. And you can, and let's see if we can get it all the way down to the bottom. Oh, wow. um, would somebody else? Hold the last stage to production. Thank you very much. Brilliant. Now let's see if we can get up that all the way down. I'm not feeling great about this. So, oh, oh. fell over at staging. Yeah. <laughs> now this, this, this is what happens in my world with such a big thing. It, you know, can't get it down the, the pipe um, regularly on a daily basis and. Because it's so, build, we, so big, we can't build it um, all the time um, because it, it just takes too long to, to get this from compilation through to just integration. It'll take two and a half hours, so, which is quite a long time to wait for your changes to actually arrive on, on, a, on, a, on a system. So, and, and really, what all we're interested in is probably, if I just take that, that little bit there, that's the bit that we really, that's the bit we've changed and that's the bit that we want. So how do we do that? Um, well, we make the package smaller, we decouple it from this monolith. And, uh, and as we're looking at balls, and we'll stay with the, with the ball theme, <laughs> and this is what we're actually trying to get to. So if we put that into the pipeline, which is our, our now refactored, decoupled, slim line, version of our ball, which is, we'll see how that, that flows. Brilliantly. That's, no, it's just not going to fall over. Everything is self-contained and we can work it backwards even. So, so once we've got it to this stage, then what, do, what we need to do is, is just, if we can just break these apart slightly, because the, the one thing that is the, the sort of uh, nub of, of uh, Con continuous delivery is, I think, is, uh, is testing in between. So we actually have to test and get confidence that this tennis ball is actually a tennis ball and <laughs> it meets the requirements of the tennis ball. But the requirements is we've got to be able to play with it with this bat. <laughs> so we'll, we'll see, first of all, 
if we, we, we know it goes down, so we need to test it to make sure that it'll work to this bat. Okay, I'll have somebody at the other end, actually. Um, if, if I may, you can be, if somebody wants to just stand at this end, we've got, we'll put a bucket. This is our uh, delivery point. <laughs> uh, and if you could also be the uh, user acceptance tester as well at the end, <laughs> then uh, we'll see how we go. Right, so we'll, we'll change this slightly. This is my test. This we'll put into the pipe. I've got one already atta attached, so we'll just swap out your your bit of pipe. And you're going to have to just adjust the pipeline slightly to accommodate that test to make a bit of room. And we'll do the same down this end. There we go. OK, now, so if, if, if the bill manager would like to, uh, yeah, to kick, it off, kick it off and see how we get on. Ah, oh, failed testing. <laughs> Right, <laughs> back to the drawing board. <laughs> so this ball isn't going to get through the test. Um, so again, back to the drawing board, refactor, come up with a different solution. And we'll go for a, a slightly smaller, more uh, agile, agile <laughs> <laughs> type of package. Excellent. Oh, brilliant. <laughs> Round of applause at the end there. So once, once we get to this, this point, then we can start to fire as many packages as we want down the pipeline and just see how we get on. Oh. That's an environment issue, I think. <laughs> there <we go>. Brilliant. <laughs> so, and that, that's basically what we're trying to do now. In, in, we've um, we've got a couple of uh, products that we've we've uh, broken down, and we've got them into our table tennis size package, uh, table tennis ball size package, and we're putting it down a pipeline using a uh, cloud service, um, a cloud provider. Uh, we're using Octopus Deploy, uh, and Team City is our, our, our scheduler to, 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 to drive this. And uh, it's, it's starting to pay dividends for us. We're, we're able to get stuff out to the, uh, um, to the uh, live environment very quickly um, and with consistent results. And that's, this, the key to it, really, is having solid acceptance tests in the middle of the, of the, of the, uh, of the pipe. Um, otherwise, you just don't have the confidence that uh, what you're actually delivering is what you actually want. So that's about it, really. So in t it, it, has anybody got any experience of, of trying to, <laughs> trying to build <laughs> their, their, uh, yeah. bits of plumbing? You, I guess you guys could relax a bit now. Uh, so if you want to pass those back. so. Um, it's really a discussion now. This, this is how, how uh, we're going. And I wonder if anybody else has had uh, similar challenges and whether this is... Uh, how long has it taken you to get to where you are now, then? Um, well, I think we started breaking away... Was it back in September? Maybe... It, it, it is. Yeah, um, to get the first package. So it was about six months, really, to, to, mm. in, in anger. Uh, we're still meeting challenges. The pipeline isn't um, as, uh, uh, well, it's, it's, it's starting to become performance issues right at the end, you know, just when we hit, hit servers, that, that is more of a challenge for us than, than the actual construction of the pipeline and getting the package small enough to deploy. Yeah. What was the phase like in between going from the, the large ball to the ping pong ball? Because uh, obviously you're getting smaller and smaller and you couldn't just do it in one go. Well, you might have been able to do it, but the service might be serviced in one go. But surely you're doing uh, releases on top of well, we're, we still have the we still have the space hopper that still works as well. So we've still got that pipeline running because we've got to keep the main it's site running. Sewer, so, yeah. <laughs> so yes, it is. So what what we we're doing we, we've we've gone for um, sort of easy uh, fixes really in in terms of packages to, yeah. to break out. 
So our first one was very self-contained anyway, so it was, it was readily available just to give us the proof of concept. Um, and that went down with a web app and a cloud service uh, using a, a Azure cloud services. And that, that gave us also the opportunity to deploy the database as well once we, once we discovered cloud, the, the cloud service because you can uh, do a co code first deployment. Uh, and that pushes the database out there, which is uh, as, as, as proved great for us in, in terms of uh, as, as DBAs are very happy people. They don't have to worry about that one so much. But, uh, um, but the second one um, is, is, is more, has been more of a challenge because it is on the main site. It's still deployed with the main site and it's going down its new pipeline as well. So we, we, we're having to sort of work on, the, on any issues we're finding with the environment just to get the performance right and, and, and get all the, all the support in place for it at the, at the other side because we have done it sort of in an agile way. So it's, it's been trial and error. <coughs> um, but we, we just need to make sure that the support's there to, to, to you know, once, once we let go and say, right, <laughs> you're free to go, then... Uh, have the number of releases increased that you can do? I mean, maybe that was like once a month that the, 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 yeah, the space hopper goes once a month to, to, to live. Yeah. It, it deploys every night, but uh, um, it, we only release once a month. But with the smaller packages, um, we can we can do that when we want. Really, uh, we're not tied to any any release cycle. We can just do it when it's ready. So, as the stories go across the, the board, we can say right, let's push that. How did you sell that to the? Obviously, there's a lot of refactoring that went on. Engineering. Um, how did you sell that to the business at the time to say, we need to do this? Because obviously they'd be saying, no, we need to get this website out or we need to get this information out on the website feature or whatever. I've been very fortunate. The business is very supportive of, of trying to make it um, a quicker, easier way of, of, of deploying because uh, we've got a bunch of product owners who want to see their changes on the site as soon as possible so so they love this really uh, uh, they're just frustrated that we're not w getting more of more packages did you conceive of this visualization um, <laughs> to help them understand what was you know going on or, or uh, was this I yeah know, i guess so yeah. it's, it's, yeah. it just became to a help sean understand <laughs> <what happened. laughs> i'm being rude there sorry sean <laughs> it, it, just a way of, of sort of expressing it yeah it it, uh, it seems to me that you know drain pipes are a pipeline you know so yeah. Uh, good for carrying stuff and uh, yeah. yeah. How do you decide what to save for the big package? I'm sorry, I didn't hear. How do you decide what to save for the big one? So if you have the ability to make those little packages, why is there still a need to save that? The, the big ball, why do we keep that? Well, we're looking at it for the best opportunity, really, um, and, to, and also what's going to give us the best benefit for pulling it away. Um, we're working with some of the um, profiles for, for the organisations like uh, hospitals and dentists at the moment, and uh, that comes in one one bundle, um, and that has been around for a long time. Uh, so it's interweaved into into this uh, uh, space hopper. So it's not it's not just something that can be plugged in and plugged out. We've we've got to untangle it from its. Uh, from its workings into into the uh, into the code, it has so many dependencies. Um, but looking at the depend dependencies uh, issue has become quite a, a positive thing for us as well because we've uh, looked towards NuGet as uh, a solution to managing those and uh, packaging everything up in a NuGet package, including uh, our old uh, dependencies on third-party assemblies because you can't necessarily get them from the vendors anymore. So we've had to find a. Uh, we've had to just put them in a NuGet package th themselves and then they're, they're safe and we don't have to wor worry about what the vendor does at the end of the day. Okay. As a contributor to the, to the space offer, <laughs> I've got at least a, a breath or two in there. Um, <laughs> have you got a strategy for kind of reducing the size of it? Or are you going to kind of keep the space offer as is and everything else is going to be tenable? Um, as we pull stuff away, the, particularly this, this one with the, the profiles, once that pulls away, that takes a whole chunk out. So... Um, in terms of even getting the repository out of source control, that's going to be quicker. Um, the fact that we don't have to compile any of those assemblies as the main build, that's going to speed up the, the, the space hopper. So sadly, the space hopper is going to actually start to deflate <laughs> as we move forward. <laughs> so are you not at risk of having a slightly deflated space hopper and then lots of ping pong balls taped to it? 
<laughs> um, no, I don't see it. That they'll, they'll be taped to the space hopper. There's, there's absolutely the, each of the, the pipelines we've constructed are self-contained. Um, they can work in their own um, time, space, continuum sort of thing. <laughs> they're just free to flow, so they, they don't have any um, any dependency on 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 the space hopper as such. But uh, uh, some of the, the assemblies that are in there, they do have, and that's how we, why, why we've introduced NuGet. Is that introduced so complexity with your infrastructure then? Um, it has, yes, because we we we're, uh, we have our, our main site is is a cloud, is in the cloud, but we've also got all these web apps and cloud services starting to pop up, and uh, <coughs> they have their own overhead. Uh, one of which was just how how we manage the database uh, connections for going to integration because we we, we run uh, four integration environments just so we can work on a release cycle and then one just to maintain live so we've got five database instances so we just had to uh, look at how we how we transform the web uh, the web config and stuff to, to make sure it had one app can talk to all of those uh, and just play happily at the start I would especially at the start I'd imagine that there would be difficulties in reintegrating ping pong balls into the space but incidentally that's how you know an analogy must be really good everyone reference <laughs> <laughs> Um, so I'm a tester, I also work for HSCIC, so it happens. I'm just interested as to the teething problems when you reintegrate the ping pong balls into the space. Well, I had that challenge just this month, actually, because um, uh, one of our pipelines hasn't been ready to go live um, due to performance issues, and we just don't feel confident that we can actually let it free, go free. So we've had to maintain two branches. So uh, we've broken the branches, it branching away as well. So that's in its own branching, but we've had to merge back the changes into the, the space hoppers branch. Um, and that in itself has proved problematic because obviously that's moved on a little bit mo more. And uh, there's some stuff on the, on the main bit that we don't actually need to release at this time due to uh, business requirements. So we've had to be it, 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 it bit us at one stage, but uh, we've, we've, we've now learned our lesson on that one. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you.